Okay, this is Mike with Edge on Up, and you are currently looking at the desktop of my office computer. Uh, this video is designed to show you the features of our software interface, uh, Edge Lab Pro. So, you may have already seen uh, the video concerning Edge Lab Standard, and if you have, that's good because Edge Lab Pro contains all of the features that are contained in Edge Lab Standard. And uh, so, the purpose of this video is simply to show the difference between the two software user interfaces. So, and that is primarily the ability of Edge Lab Pro to automatically graph edge sharpness tests and slicing tests in particular. So let's just uh, dive right into here. And we open up our Auto Detect COM port, which is exactly the same as, it, as you may have seen on Edge Lab Standard. So we simply say detect and we have found our COM port, so we say done. And so we are, the screen in, on Edge Lab Pro is slightly different uh, than, it is the, than it is on Edge Lab Standard. Uh, but the COM settings and the preferences are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and go to preferences and see how we're set here. We're set to automatically begin and end the test and the test will end will begin at 40 grams of force and the test will end at 40 at at 40 grams of force in other words when the force drops below 40 the test will automatically end so let's just uh like i said let's just dive right in here and let's run a test Now, as you can see, we've got current reading, total test time, average force, and max force. Uh, those things will be automatically calculated uh, by Edge Lab Pro. Uh, we can do this just to make sure that we've got a good comp uh, connection. I'm going to put my finger over here, and if you'll pay attention to the current reading right here by the arrow, I'm going to put my finger on it, and you'll see that number change. All right, that assures us that we've got a good COM reading. So, or got good COM connection, excuse me. So let's, um, let's do this. We're gonna, we're gonna start a test and, uh, and you'll immediately see the graphing aspect of this. And, but, the, but I'm not actually, I don't have a knife out here. I'm not actually cutting test media, but I do have a weight that lay, weighs approximately 500 grams and I'm going to gradually set that weight down to start to begin the test and then I'm going to gradually I'm going to let it sit static for a while and then I'm going to gradually pick it up and that's going to simulate an actual uh, the way data comes in on an actual knife test. So let's get started here. First of all, I'll just click Start Test. Now I'm going to reach over here and start setting this 500 gram weight down, but I'm going to do it gradually so that you'll see a slope in the reading. Okay, so we're going up, 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 up. Up and finally here I just release it and I'll let it sit there for just a second. You can see our test time is running here. We're up to 18 seconds or so. And now I'm going to gradually pick this up until it's completely off. And there we see how Edge Lab Pro works. So you can see then is, is the, because we had it on, um, if you remember, we had it on auto stop is on, auto stop the test. Um, 
And so what we've got then is, is we've automatically, the test ended, concluded, and, um, and we automatically then generated this graph. So you can see it where I was slowly applying force here in this long slope. And then I just let the, these, so we got this nice flat top here where I just left the, the force and you can see somewhere here I like. The max force that was applied was 523, but you can see this nice flat top and then I started picking, gradually picking up. And you can see this little spike here. And I'll, I'll, I'll go back to that. That's when I went to pick up the, the weight. And I actually, for a moment there, just a, a, an instant, and I actually started weighing some of the weight of my hand uh, in addition to the weight of the object that I put on here. And so finally it comes down here and when it dropped down below 40 grams, the test ended. Uh, so here's another feature that you can do. If I run, let's say that we want to pick, let's go pick this little uh, point right here, up here on this peak. And then I move my cursor up and there you can see it gave me both the time and the maximum force. And you can see that maximum force was 523. That corresponds with our maximum force up here that was applied. So that was the instance, that's where we, we reached the peak of the force. Now, here's something that's just pretty darn neat about Edge Lab Pro, and that is if we want to, we have a button down here called Adjust Graph. In other words, we say we're not really interested in all this slope here. We're just interested in what what this was across this point. Well, we can do that. Now, I want you to take note of the fact here that it says the average force was 351. And if you actually look at it, that's rounded up right here from 350.65. So, so pay attention to this 350.65 because we're going to trim what we consider to be a bunch of junk out of this test. So we say adjust graph, and then we go up here, and let's say we're going to say we're only interested in it right here from this point forward. So we can trim that off. Now look how that's affected our average force. Now it's up to 401. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to say adjust graph. And let's put it like say right here. And now we've trimmed both the beginning and the end. And you notice how the how the graph automatically changes resolution because we're, we're dealing with a much smaller area. So now our average force is up to 498. Now we know that the, that the weight that I put on the force, force plate actually weighed 500, somewhere 500, 501 grams. So um, if we want to, we can trim it even further. Let's go right there. Now we're at 500.92. We're getting there. So let's trim in the right side again. And here's our big peak where it actually weighed my hand for a little bit and see how the resolution is much greater now to pick out these, these uh, little anomalies. So let's just trim all of that out of there. And there we have it. Now we're up to 500.69 was the average force. 500.69 was the average force. Now these numbers here haven't changed, but that's fine. We're just looking at, at, at this number right here with our trimming. So anyhow, now if we want to, I could say reset graph. 
and we'll go back to the original. So that's how it is. Now here's another thing that's a little different in the export data uh, column compared to our standard user interface. If we go to export data, here is our test name, which this is all the same as in standard, except now we can also export the graph if we want to. All right, so I'm just going to say cancel for there. Now let's, uh, this is kind of an interesting thing here, uh, and it's, it's, you, we can do the same thing with standard, but we have to go to put the data into Excel in order to see it. But let's, uh, this is really graphic, so let's go ahead and do this little experiment. Let's turn auto off, and here's what we're going to do. We'll save that. And then we say begin new test. And when we say start test, this graph will go away. And I think I'm all ready here. So let's say start test. All right, I'm going to do primarily the same thing. I'm going to gradually put this weight down on the force plate. There it goes. Okay, the weight is totally on. And now I'm going to gradually take it off. There we are. It's all the way off. And you'll notice now, because we're on manual start and stop, our time on our test continues to run. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the weight and gradually let it down on the force plate again. There we are. I'll let it sit there for just a second. Okay, now I'm picking it up. Gradually removing the weight. Okay. Now, as you can see, our current reading is back to zero. And what we're going to say, and our test is all the way up to 60 seconds. So let's stop it. And there's our graph. And you can see what we've done. Now you'll notice, even though we were just sort of sitting here, um, um, or I was anyhow, just sort of like uh, jawboning with you, um, you'll notice that we didn't record a bunch of zeros in there. And that's because the Edge Lab will not report zeros normally. So we didn't like end up with a graph that's uh, a half a mile long here. So, but you can clearly see, here was our first test, right up there on the 500. Matter of fact, let's, let's, let's take a reading right there, 501 grams. And if we go back over here, when it came back on again, we took it gradually off, we added it gradually back in, and let's see what this says. 501 grams. So there you have it. That's the that's the graphing and editing feature of Edge Lab Pro. Thank you very much and thanks for tuning into this tutorial. And when the music comes on, that means it's time to turn the lights in our sharpening room off.